Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about a very popular topic. Well, it seems to be popular. It's penis size. Dun, dun, dun. And I received so many messages from my male followers concerning penis size. They are worried about being too big, too small, etc. And I think there's a lot of suffering going on about penis size. So I wanted to... Um, um, answer some questions that I've received um, regarding penis size and if anyone else has anything to add to this it would be great to to see and read your comments in the comment section below and yeah so let's get down to it well everything I'm going to tell you now is just based on my personal opinion and um, you must remember that if you write to me I'm not a medical professional or a sexologist or anything like that I'm just um, I'm just I'm a sex toy reviewer so that's my area of expertise and if, I do know a few penises as well, so I can give you some of my my insight there. But in terms of the biggest question around about size, people are always want to know if, if size matters. And I, I always say that the hardness matters more. That's something I really believe in. And to improve hardness, I think, you know, having a healthy lifestyle is all, always going to help. So having healthy diet exercise and uh, that'll help the blood go where it's supposed to go and yeah anyway so someone wrote to me asking me about um condom size and their penis because they felt that their condoms were, were were loose on their penis and of course it's very important to get the right condom size and if you look on the brand's websites you will see that um all condoms are not the same they, they all have different shapes and sizes and um in my experience in the past i've always let when i've had sex with a regular with a regular guy i kind of let them get the condoms because i know that which one which brand they like and which um you know which uh type they prefer because everyone is different and um yes yeah, so everyone has a different preference really and what we're looking at is, is not really the length, but um, but really the girth. That's really important, the width of a condom. So if you want to um, measure your penis, don't think about the length when it, when it comes to condoms. It's, it's really important to have an erect penis and then, and then kind of measure the girth at the base. And um, you can find, if you do some research on um, popular brands of condoms, their websites, you will find what the actual measurements are. I'm not sure if they all have them on the actual boxes themselves on the packages but you can definitely find out online before going to where you have to go to buy them or maybe you want to buy them online but there is one brand that's really cool about this it's called um my size and i'm gonna i can't remember what the, the website is now let me see what it is do, 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 do. okay it's my size hyphen condoms.com and this uh, particular brand i think they have about i don't know seven different measurements or something like that and they're color coded and um so then you know you're always getting the right um the right condom and it shouldn't be too loose or too tight it should be comfortable and that's really good and also these condoms are vegan because they're um, not all condoms are vegan they some of them have um casein which is a something that's come from come, that comes from milk so i always prefer vegan condoms not just because i am a vegan but also i think um i don't want anything animal in me Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway um so that's something that i would highly recommend is getting to know the width of your girth and um, which condoms suit you but don't worry about the length so much i've never been with a guy who's filled the condom you know lengthwise because some of them can be quite long so it's really about the uh the girth Okay, next question about um, mm, 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 mm. so and someone's asked me if someone would be refuse to be intimate after seeing their size. I think that's really sad, or, or would they laugh at them? I think that's really sad. I think um, if someone laughs at your body, whatever part it is, then you know that that person does not deserve to be intimate with you and I've never heard of anything like that in um, in my life but that's not something that um, a kind of considerate partner would ever do you know um, however there's nothing wrong with uh, maybe voicing some concerns or about your own um, about your body to someone you want to be intimate with because I think then you might be they might help you relax a bit more they might put you at ease because I know that some of my 
my biggest hang-ups of my body have been overcome thanks to the fantastic lovers I've had in my life. So I think it's a good idea to not just um, be in a sexual situation where you've got these things going on in your head that you can't share and the person's got these other things going on in their heads that you, and two people are in this kind of like the same space but in their heads they're in different places completely. I think it's good to kind of break the mold and just kind of really really communicate properly. And I think once you are at ease, then the sex is gonna be a lot better because if, you, if you're having all these thoughts, it's not gonna be, it might affect the your ability to have an erection if you're nervous, nervous, etc. So I think it's, um, it's best to maybe voice your concerns with your partner if you feel that way. But um, someone has actually told me their measurements and five inches by four and a half girth. I don't think that's that's too bad actually. And I did, I don't actually, I don't think that's too bad, it sounds terrible. I think that's absolutely fine. I think um, um, I made a video um, a few months ago about penis size and I actually had a dildo that was five inches. I think it was the the dolphin from um, Fun Factory. And that is one of the, their most best-selling products ever in, in the in the uh, dildo category of sex toys. And if it was if it was tiny, then um, if it was too small, then I don't think it would be so successful. But again, as I say, I think it's more about the firmness, but in the firmness, obviously you would need to be relaxed and definitely in the mood. And also there are, there are different, um, different preferences. Some people might prefer something a bit bigger. There's, there's no denying that. And some people, some people might find that's too, that's uncomfortable. But what I really think is important as well as hardness, what I just said earlier, is also in the penetration, the act of penetration is something called that I've, I call genital compatibility. So that, that would also involve the female partner, which would be the strength um, of the pelvic floor. I think that's really, really important. And it's about, yeah, it's about having, you know, a comfortable fit and a stimulating fit for, for both parties involved, definitely. So something to that a, a couple could do to overcome maybe not feeling enough during sex would, if, it would be if the woman does some pelvic floor exercises to really strengthen that area and tighten the grip, so to speak. And um, I would definitely recommend that. I think um, pelvic floor exercises are so important anyway, just for general well-being. But I think a lot of the blame gets put on the guys in the situation about size or genital um, incompatibility, definitely. Um, so would, would, what size, uh... Would they feel any, anything if they've had bigger in the past? I think there's a real myth about, um, you know, if people have had a lot of lovers, they're going to have a looser vagina. That's not, not true at all. I think it all depends on pelvic floor training, really. And maybe some people who've had more sex might have a better pelvic floor, um, tighter pelvic floor, you know? So I think it's not, that's real a real myth. <laughs> I, I think I've heard more than one person ask me that as well. Um but I think it depends on, um, yeah, just personal preferences maybe. And I mean, I've had all different sizes, but it doesn't, it doesn't, that's not something that you would um, judge someone on necessarily. I think it's all about the compatibility and the energy and all of that. Yeah, so don't, don't necessarily think that bigger is better. Because I also made a video called um, I Worry That My Penis Is Too Big. And that's a real common problem as well. And some people might think, oh, this guy's won the penis lottery. But in fact, that can cause a lot of discomfort for for the female partner or in, in if, even, even in a gay situation as well. It could be problematic or could be uncomfortable, etc. So don't think... I think... Um, this obsession with size does kind of come from porn. And also think about in porn, um, a lot of the angles are kind of emphasizing the penis size as well. So it's not necessarily 100% true. Hmm, okay. Um, is my, uh, what did I get laughed out? I just think I've already answered that. Um, so does it matter about how you use it? How am I supposed to know how to use it? Um, I think, um, I think it's kind of instinctive, really. Um, I think there's lots of different ways to use it. There could be an in-out thrusting. You could, you could really think about your body and just kind of what feels good and, and what the the other partner is is up for. But what you could do is um, you could just get the, the the other partner to go on top or kind of really um, kind of be in control of it so you know what they want. And also there's different maybe... Um, rhythms for different moments you know as you approach orgasm then it might be a bit faster 
So um, I think it's just a question of trial and error and um, just getting to just doing it and practicing really because it's not it's not always the same and if it is that gets very 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 boring definitely so I think it would be always best to start off slow and communicate and say do you like it like that do you want me to go faster do you want you know just and also think that communicate with your body as well and just kind of do what your body's asking for naturally and um and what the other person seems to be enjoying so yeah communication is key definitely and that's all I have for now um, about penis Q&A. But I always get um, messages about this topic a lot, very a lot. So I really hope this has been helpful for all you people who have this concern. And if anyone else has to has anything to add to this, then please don't hesitate to add a comment below. It'd be really helpful, I think, for these people who are paranoid about their penis size. And yeah, and if you have any concerns or any, any suggestions for new videos, don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org or on Instagram at venusohara. Thanks for watching.